Notion has recently released two updates that you might find useful, especially if you've been using Notion for quite a while right now, because these new improvements are incremental innovation, but they might be very important to be aware of because Notion has added many features over the past couple of months, and yet keeping track of those improvements can be quite challenging. So in this video, I'm going to show you two improvements that have been made very recently to two different properties in Notion. Now, properties in Notion are part of databases. They are fields, what you might call columns in an Excel spreadsheet. But properties are of a specific data type. And these two updates that I want to tell you about are, first, an update to the person property, where you can pick the user in Notion. And second, an update to one of the most powerful features of Notion, relations, where you can relate databases with each other. First, let's look at the first update to the person property, which now can also have a limit. So I'm in the great CEO template right now, and I'm going to open the issue inventory right here. And the first thing that we're going to look at is the person property here. And the new feature is that whenever you have a person property, you can click on it. And when you click on edit property, you will see that there is a limit right now that you can impose on this property. It's either no limit, so you can choose multiple people, or it can be one person so that when you pick that person for the proposer, in this case, for example, you can limit the amount of people to one, and then you can't add any other individual in that property. The second key update is to the way relations look and also a small functionality added in here. So let's say we are looking at this issue in the Great CEO issue inventory system. And here you can see there is a relational property to the meetings database. Now the relation picker looks different. Whenever you click on this relation, it will directly open the meeting in this case. And you can see that here there is a plus button where you can choose additional pages that you might want to relate to this entry here. And whenever you have a relation property, when you click on the three dots here, you can decide which property from the related database to show in the relation picker directly. So that's an indirect rollup, which until now should have been done through a rollup property, which is still relevant in many cases. But here we can decide to show, for example, the date and time of this meeting directly here on the right hand side of the meeting. So if I were to add a date and time in here, Now you can see that that date and time of the meeting is reflected right here quickly so that I don't need to open the page to see that detail if I wanted to understand when this meeting took place. These are the two updates of Notion. Thanks for watching and see you soon.